Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Janine Patrice and I'm back with another video about my 2020 vision board. So this year, as I do most years, I believe, I made another vision board to like lay out the things that I want to come into fruition for the year. And a lot of things, some of them are simple, some of them are not. So I'm gonna tell you guys how I made this vision board here. And I actually went the digital route. I'm also gonna explain kind of what I have going on or what I wanna, you know, do this year. I am going to explain everything on it. I will say that I did have this printed out at Walgreens and I also got like one of their cheap little frames for it. So that's why it's kind of like glossy and you know has that little glass front I printed it out at Walgreens I just got like a 8 by 10 sheet and then I got an 8 by 10 frame but it actually cut off the top of it which I don't know I might go and correct it later because it is kind of bothering me so yeah but I was like I'm gonna keep it like this for now because I basically know everything that goes up there anyway um, so I don't think it's affecting it too much but anyway uh, let's start off in the top left corner here so I have this this area is all about like my health and last year as you guys probably don't know um, I went to get a physical my annual physical done like I normally do every year and when they took my levels and I you know checked my blood and stuff I actually um, found out that my cholesterol is higher than the normal range it wasn't crazy out you know out there like oh your cholesterol is so high like what are you doing with your body kind of thing but it was slightly higher than it should be so like diet and exercise will easily calm that down and bring it down to normal but it was a huge reality check for me because you know i'm used to going to doctor's appointments and everything being like a okay you know, you're so fine you're healthy blah 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 and for them to be like oh your cholesterol is higher even like the smallest, like, you know, a couple of points higher, I was kind of like, no, not me. But I do have high cholesterol that runs in on my dad's side of the family. So that's something I really need to get in check. Last year in 2019, I was, you know, trying to like keep in mind with that, but the holidays came and ruined everything. So this year, um, on this little thing, I put oats and berries because those are two things that are known to lower cholesterol. And I also have lower cholesterol up here um, as like a reminder. Eat your greens just to be healthy and then focus on your health, not your weight. Because I know a lot of times I enter into fitness journeys and weight loss journeys like, oh, I want to lose weight. I want to look like this. I want to have that, this, that, and the other. And it's, you know, I need to focus on being healthy first. And then, you know, all the rest of the things, all the rest of those things should follow if I am getting my diet right, if I'm exercising and you know, focusing on feeling better. Because right now I don't feel that great. Honestly, I don't feel that great and I don't feel that great about the way I look, but also it's just like, you know, I'm 20, almost 28 years old. I should be able to walk up the stairs and not get winded or just feel better about walking around and getting more active. So yeah, I wanted to focus on my health more and not my weight. Moving on to like this top middle area, um, I wanted to kind of put that in there at the top because it's something that I want to be a high priority in my life. I have a little Bible here. This is actually the She Reads Truth Bible, which I just ordered in this exact same coloring and stuff. So I can't wait till that comes in. And this word says faith, but it's cut off. And then up here I have a little prayer note thing that I found on Pinterest. And it says, I actually need to pull up my vision board on my laptop to read what it says, but I do remember like the gist of it. But I want to get it exactly right for you guys. Lord, grant me a heart that seeks you above all else. So I wanted to put that up there because I fell off with my faith. And I'll make a whole another video on that if you guys want to hear it. But I fell off with my faith a couple of years ago. I was trying to get back into it. I fell off because of certain personal reasons and things that were going on in my life and then the very last month the first sunday that december 1st i was like i'm going back to church and i had reached out to my um former first lady about it and i got a really like small 
fairly youthful church so the pastor and first lady are like in their 30s it's not like i'm reaching out to you know a first lady who's like in her 70s or 80s but anyway i reached out to her and was like i'm feeling called to come back to church and i wanted to let you know like this is why i stepped back away from it for a while and she was totally accepting of it. I was really happy that I reached out to her and shout out to my friend Krista for giving me some advice on how to do it because I was scared. <laughs> Not necessarily scared, but I was definitely nervous to like reach out because I was like, oh, it's, a, it's such a silly reason why I left. But, you know, she's very non-judgmental and she'll let you know like, oh, it's perfectly fine. Well, we're excited to have you back. I'm so happy to know like why you stepped back because you know oftentimes people at the church might think that it's something that they did and it wasn't anything that they did at all it was not the church it was not the pastor the first lady or the people in the church you know it was just something personal but anyway i wanted to put that at the top because i want to see god above everything else i want to be able to you know have that peace in my life that i've been searching for and i feel like i will find it with just finding my faith again and to the top right i have a little quote up here that was cut off but anyway the cut off quote says we won't be distracted by comparison if we are captivated with purpose and that's something that is huge for kind of what i want to focus on this year is purpose because i actually admitted this to my friends for um not too long ago and I was like you know for the longest time I felt like I didn't have a purpose I literally felt like I was dropped on this earth for who knows why and I felt like maybe I'm just like a waste of space which sounds really depressing but it I don't mean it in a depressing way I just feel like maybe I was just put here like for the fun of it <laughs> you know like maybe I don't really have like a reason to be here and um it's kind of like it if you think about it enough and you think like oh i don't have a purpose even if it's like doesn't seem that sad to you at first i feel like it could have had a long-term effect on me like what am i really here for so i put that in there because it's like i want to stop like comparing myself to others even if it's an unintentionally and i want to start finding my purpose finding why i'm here i also have like <laughs> some tea and this little healthy smoothie and like the sunrise right here because I want to establish a better wake up routine and um, I also have this little bit here that I found off Pinterest it says when I wake up I will stretch work out shower put on favorite perfume brew a fresh cup of coffee open curtains read the Bible gratitude journal turn on favorite station make healthy breakfast take vitamins get ready for the day so even though all the stuff on the list I won't actually do, it kind of just put in the, puts me in the mindset like I do need a better morning routine. This whole sleeping in until, you know, I have to absolutely get up is not conducive to my work life, to my personal life, to how I live my day to day. And I know that I need to establish a good wake up morning routine that I actually am consistent with and actually is productive to me. And the read the Bible part is big on there because I do want to read the Bible in a year and I also want to be able to wake up and that be the first thing that I do. After I like stretch and maybe get some water, I want to read the Bible and have that alone time and be able to start my day right. I also have over here, you see the Seattle Space Needle, um, a little plane window situation and maps and then I put solo travel because I want to take a solo trip this year I've always been wanting to go on a trip by myself and I'm I'll admit I'm too afraid to go overseas alone but I do I did think that like Seattle would be cool especially whenever it's not rainy like in the summertime or something like that but it just seems like a beautiful city to go to and also seems like a good place to go to alone like I feel like they have like a lot of interesting places to go to where you can enjoy it by yourself and solo travel is just something that I really want to do because I'm kind of a person that loves to have a plan for a vacation and not everybody fits into that <laughs> like not everybody loves to have like you know a structured plan or even like not everybody wants to do everything that you want to do in a certain city so yeah i want to plan my own trip and i want to do everything that i want to do and i want to you know be able to enjoy time alone every now and then so solo travel is big for me 
I want to say five thousand dollars into my savings I did have like an emergency fund I do the whole Dave Ramsey thing where you know you're supposed to have an emergency fund I want to establish you know a lot of money in my savings account and I have this five thousand dollar savings plan thing which I could put the picture over here and it's it seems a little intimidating but honestly if I'm not spending as much like I plan to not spend then I there's no reason why I can't just put that away for myself because a lot of people are like saving five thousand dollars what like I'll never be able to use my money but you have to think of it in the fact that like you're paying yourself whenever you save you're literally moving money into a savings account that's for yourself you're not spending money on you know frivolous things material items or you know paying a bill it's like you're paying yourself you're setting that side aside for yourself whenever you need it whether it's an emergency down payment things that happen in the future I want to get five at least five thousand dollars in savings this year moving on I wanted to rebrand my channel I also put five thousand subscribers there um this is photoshopped I do not have 5k subscribers but it would be cool to like grow my audience and then I also have passion plus consistency equals success which is something that I really need to work on is consistency because I, I sometimes I tend to fall off with the things that I love the most which it shouldn't happen so if I stay consistent with something I want to see how much more of an impact I can have or how big of a thing I can get with success these are some like branding colors I was brainstorming with but if you haven't noticed already I did rebrand my channel i have a new banner up on my channel if you want to go check that out i also um will be designing my thumbnails a little bit differently and i have new intro sc screen i have a new intro screen and a new end screen it's just more my taste and i've changed a lot since i started this youtube just a little bit over a year ago i might change this quarter but i'm gonna keep it like that for now at least for the first quarter of the year and I might do a thing where it's like I change my board every quarter depending on how much I get accomplished within a quarter. And I think that vision boards should be ever changing. They shouldn't ever stay the same throughout the year, especially when you cross things off and you establish certain things. Feel free to add more things that inspire you. Um, so I added this little disposable camera as well and also this old school film camera because I'm getting more into film photography. Now that they come up with like DSLRs and digital cameras, pictures are cool and all, but I feel like there's like a certain art to film photography. So I started a disposable camera Instagram account for fun and I started using disposable cameras for fun because it was kind of like a trend. It, if y'all know who David Dobrik is, you've heard of disposable cameras. Um, so my friends were starting to do it and at first I was like, I don't get it. Like you can literally take pictures on your phone and print them out, you know, if you want to and whatever. And then I, for some reason, one day it clicked and I was like, this is actually pretty cool. Something that I grew up with, which was disposable cameras. And I kind of brought back that nostalgia feel, especially with how the pictures look and stuff. I asked for a film camera, which is a 35 millimeter film camera that I can reuse and upload, like, you know, insert my own actual film into the camera. And I got that for Christmas and I haven't used a lot of it yet. Eventually I want to get like a two, like these, one of these kind of cameras where I can adjust the lens and stuff and you know really do the photography thing I'm excited to like get into that it's kind of like a hobby for me so I put it on there because it's something that I enjoy and I want to do more of this year in this little corner I have like some little sustainability things and reusable things and I kind of want to get back on track with that I did have a video on here about how um, you know certain swaps that I made to be more sustainable and no lie I fell off and I fell off with a lot of things and I'm trying to just get back on track and get back into that path of being more environmentally conscious and being more sustainable. Okay, this is my vision board and I hope you enjoyed my explanation of my goals this year and I also hope that you guys make your own digital vision boards. This whole digital vision board idea was inspired by Valerie Crad, who's also a fellow lock sister out here. She has her own business with lock t-shirts and jewelry and she's out here doing the dang thing. So shout out to you Valerie Crad, for this inspiration and idea for making a digital vision board. This is my second year doing it. So all credit goes to you Valerie. She uses the same pic collage thing as well well I just really enjoy it it allows me to make it more of how I want it to look instead of trying to find a magazine that has the words that you're looking for you can just 
completely personalize it. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure that you like this video, comment below with your goals for 2020 or um, if you guys are doing vision boards this year or not. Also subscribe to my channel for more content. I love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.